the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. And tonight, we've got the Las Vegas Aces playing against the Dallas Wings. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. Pass to McCowan. And looking into the crystal ball, it's likely these teams will meet in the postseason. Who's going to stop them? I mean, I can only think of one, maybe two possibilities. Really? I mean, they can only stop themselves. And here's Young. Outside, Parker. Now here's Wilson, guarded by Sabley. And good that time. Talk about reading the floor. Parker's teammates feed off her energy as a playmaker. And it's the Wings ball. Pass to Lopez Seneschal. Sabali. And again, it's the Wings from deep. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Outside Young. Back to Gray. Pick by Parker. To Gray. The three. They get the rebound. It's good on the putback. Simply tenacious on the O boards. Wilson attacks the loose ball with the intent of putting it back in the hoop. Outside of Gunmawale. On the wings, Satu Zabali. Back to McCowan. Clock at six. Agunbawale is screened. Burton gets the bucket. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here's Young. Back to Gray. Puts it up from 15. Now in the Chelsea. scoring column with that deuce. One for two this game. The mechanics of Gray's jumper when you break them down are unshakable. The team's confidence in her abilities is well placed. Sobbly with it. She's guarded by Wilson. Yep, that goes. Four makes on four shots. Everything is falling for them early. Gray outside. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Wilson. Score it. Her third straight basket in three attempts. And this is where you get Wilson the ball. A skilled interior player who's uh, comfortable attacking from that spot. Pass to Burton. Here's Sobley. Rebounded by Parker. Four or five to start the game. That's their first miss. Gray outside. Back to Clark. Wilson left side. Gray pass to Young. Up top, Wilson. Shoots over Sabali. Wilson can't hit. Well, I mean, to me at least, Brian, it looked like it was going to be an easy two points there. You're right, Tim. And she's got some angry words for herself after that miss. Now here's McCowan. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Gray. McCowan defending. Gray outside. Pass to Young. Inside, Wilson. And it's off the back of the rim, no good. Dallas leading. Now here's a Wale. Takes the three. Rebound by the Aces. Now Clark. up top. Pass to Wilson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. 
season to follow. And guys, I heard that Asia Wilson got her first championship ring sized for her pinky finger. Now that is bravado. Saying you're starting on your pinky finger so you can fill up the other rings in order? You just gotta love that level of raw ambition in a star player. First free throw is good. We've got WNBA All-Star break on the horizon. A much needed rest for a lot of these players. Oh, these games add up quicker for the players, for the coaches, for the broadcasters. So having a chance to recover is always very nice. For the fans as well. They want to see these teams at their best heading into the home stretch. A unanimous winner of the WNBA's Rookie of the Year award, Wilson entered the league with a bang. Asta Sabali. McCowan. Burton, she's guarded by Plum. It's Burton. Here's Agumawale, and she gets it to go from the high post. We talk about players drafted and entering the league in the late 2010s. Arike Ogumawale is one of the few who still uses the mid-range. Now here's Parker. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Wilson. Takes it out to Plum. Pass to Wilson. Clark. Shoots. Here's Parker. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. And offensive glass getting it done. It's not just the 6 4 frame that allows Parker to get those in. It's her motor. It's her desire. It's her drive to win. Now here's Lopez Seneschal. Wale from long range. Good on the three-point shot. Las Vegas trailing. Outside Plum. There's the three. And the three ball is good. Well, if you hit a three on Plum's team, you just know Kelsey wants to respond in time. Outside Sobley. Pass to McCowan. Agunba Wale. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Plum with it. Let's the three fly. Another three for Las Vegas. Oh, the handles of Kelsey Plum on full display. So it's Dallas now. They trail by three. Outside of Gunmawale. And Parker gets the whistle that time. That's her first foul. The Aces making a switch. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Up top, Lopez Seneschal. And here's Cannon. Five to shoot. Side. She's guarded by Wilson. But Cowan with the bucket. Well, this is where she's going to make her money professionally. 6 7 with touch. McCowan will score points in the paint for years. Now here's Plum. Six points for her. Launches a three. And the aces another three. three. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Now Burton. Outside Sobley. Lopez in a shawl. Here's McCowan. Nice defense from Asia Wilson. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. And a shot goes in. Everything's going according to plan for them offensively so far. Coaching staff has got to be impressed. And I'm impressed. I mean, the shots have been falling, that's for sure. They're scoring with confidence. It's Burton. Pass to Cannon. Sobley. She's covered by Clark. Fades and shoots. That's good. And she's now three for four from the floor. In the paint, Sobley has the tools to be dominant. Look at her muscle her way to the shot there. 
inside Plum. And the aces, another three. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing them for the last five makes coming from long range. Here's Cannon. No scoring yet for her, but that's likely to chase. Oh, some quick uh, retaliation right there, huh, guys? Yeah, sure didn't take them long to go and get those three points back. Now here's Gray. Pass to Plum. Shoots it up. Yes! Great play by Chelsea Gray to set it up. That's two bombs in a row from long range. They're starting to heat up. The defense has stepped slow. They've got to take away that airspace. It's Burton. Lopez Seneschal with it. McCowan. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. Well, you really have to hammer McCowan to stop her. Sometimes it's best to not even foul. Could lead to an extra point. First trip to the free throw line for her tonight. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one misses. Taken by the fever in the 2019 WNBA draft, Tierra McCowan was reunited with college teammate Victoria Vivian in Indiana. Both teams on fire right now from the opening tip. This is going to be an entertaining game of basketball today, folks. I think that much is obvious. Get your popcorn ready. Here's Cannon. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Outside, Agumba Wale. Pass to Sims. Beyond the arc. The shot, no good. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. The Aces on top. They lead by seven. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Second quarter beginning in just a moment. And uh, guys, what's your take on the Aces so far? The work they've done to get in close offensively, the difference right now. And I like that they aren't settling for outside shots. Just keep attacking the rim. Very aggressive. The Aces leading. Outside Williams. That doesn't go either for Raquana Williams. And it's the wings ball. Pass to Kukawale. And here is Sims. Dangerfield outside. Shot clock at three. Three-pointer. Bangs home the trifecta. You want to make it as a, a WNBA player at the guard position? You need a deep shot like Dinkfield. Raquana Williams for three. Connects three from three-point range. Defense was pretty much non-existent there. Can't leave such a good shooter open like that. Come on. Dangerfield outside. Sims. Agunba Wale. She's guarded by Williams. Crystal Dangerfield from deep. That one falls, coming off to Enrique Agunba Wale's nice feed. Answering the three with one of her own, Crystal Dangerfield, playing with fire. Parker inside, banked in off the glass. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Agumba Wale. She's got a round with the screen. This one for three. Agumba Wale, 
No good. Raquana Williams for a free. Offensive board. The wings trail. Outside of Google Wale. Two minutes now played in this second quarter. Brown sets a screen. No good on the triple. Well, after hitting those two three balls in the first quarter, it looks like she's cooled down a bit here in the second. Now here's Hartley. Quiet so far offensively, searching for her first points of the game. Here's Parker. Misses the baby hook. Here's Dallas now. Six-point game. And when the LA Sparks won the 2008 draft lottery, Candace Parker was the automatic first overall pick. And what a career she had in Los Angeles, winning MVP as a rookie, playing over a decade with the Sparks. Candace leaving a serious basketball legacy in LA. Her shooting numbers slipping this quarter. Abunda Wale with it. Williams there. Back to Dangerfield. That one falls, coming up Arike Agumbawale's nice lead. And the understanding Arike possesses just has a feel for when someone on her team is open. I'm not called the cases. And during the 2020 Bradenton bubble, Arike Agumbawale won the scoring title. So impressive doing it in just her second year at just 23 years old. Arike uh, holding off Asia Wilson down the stretch of that season, averaging just about 30 during the last four games to secure the scoring title. in the second quarter play. Focus and intensity are never in question with Gray. I mean, she brings it every time she steps on the floor, and you have to admire that. That one falls. What a plus it is to get those looks in the paint. Outside Plum. Back to Gray. And there's the three-second violation. Three seconds. Dallas wins. Substitution for the Dallas Wings. Number seven, Tierra McCallum. So it's Dallas now. It's Burton. Outside of Gumbawale for three. Rebounded by Parker. You know, you watch her, and you see her mechanics are totally out of whack right now. She's lost all feel for her shot. Yeah, and it's not hard to tell. You know, just look at her numbers right now. Nothing is going down for her. Now here's Gray. Back to Young. Shot clock at six. Just her first attempt. And down it goes. Two points. 
I love that shot from Young. Make defenders worry about the entire floor, not just the paint and the threes. Make them guard you in the mid-range. It's Burton. Pass to Cannon. Outside, Agumawale. And another miss by Dallas. Not a whole lot going down for her. She can't catch a break. Gray outside. Here's Gustafsson. McCowan defending. Outside Young. Three-pointer. Drills it from outside. Well, it's a part of her game that's improving. Young's been working on that three-point stroke. Will add another dimension to her game. And here's Burton. Lopez and Ashal outside. Pass to Mugawale. It's Burton. From beyond the arc. That's a miss. She's made one and missed one. Now here's Gray. Down low. Here's Parker. Good, and it's Chelsea Gray who picks up the assist. It's going to take Chelsea. more than that to shake a vet, an all-star like Candace Parker. Remember, she's experienced it all. A little contact, it's not going to affect her. Now here's Lopez Seneschal. Outside of Gumbawale. And nothing is falling right now for them. She's going to play her way right onto the bench if she continues to shoot the ball like she has this quarter. And that one good. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Okay, she's made me hungry, but, but that's right. Five of their last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. And where's the cheese? Time called here. The wings decide to talk it over. Changing it up here. On defense, the Aces. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Now Burton. Pass to McCowan. Just five on the clock. And here's Satu Sabali outside. That one is good. She has missed only one of her six shots from the floor. Now here's Plum. Not a lot of room. Now Gustafson. Guarded by Sabali. Gustafson can't hit. It's Burton. Lopez and Ashal outside. Pass to Sabali. And it's good. Coming off the assist by Lou Lopez and Ashal. It's clear that Sabali has it going on right now, showing no interest in taking her foot off the gas pedal. 
side plum. Here's Wilson. Gets to the rim for two with a D all over her. Such a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. That's what she brings to the table. And here's Burton. Lopez Seneschal outside. Savali, Gray defending. Kelsey Plum from outside. It's good as five others before it were. She's now shooting six for seven. Yeah, she's played an important role in her offense today. And really, without her, they might not have the lead right now. It's Burton. Pass to Cannon. Now Savali. Lopez Seneschal outside. She hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the aces with possession. Now Gustafson. Back to Gray. She takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. This defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys, giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor. Their offense in the paint hasn't been up to par. Now here's McCowan. Now Burton. Shoots over Plum. Wilson pulls it down. And not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them inside. Here's Plum. Pass to Wilson. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. And here's Savali. Fires, top of the key. Good. She hits the jumper. And how huge has she been to give her team a lift? Yeah, certainly their deficit would be a lot bigger if it wasn't for her efficiency at the offensive end of the floor. And the first half now in the books. The ace is on top, up 11. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit.
And welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. A fantastic game from Kelsey Plum in this one. And I wonder how long she can continue to shoot the three ball as well as she has up to this point. She's been quite simply lights out. Yeah, exactly. And this is something we both know that sometimes you have those nights where the bucket looks as wide as the Grand Canyon. And it, it really might be one of those nights for her. Well, it's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. Now here's Gray. Pass to Parker. Wilson. It's rebounded by Savali. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. It's Burton. Back to Lopez and Ashal. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team, and that 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Not to mention what it says on the scoreboard, they're really pushing them around. Hart can't hit. Dallas with the ball. They trail by 11. Pass to Gumbawale. Sabali with it. From downtown. Jackie Young the rebound. It's stolen by McCowan. Agumba Wale. Parker defending. Here's Sabali. Makes it off the glass. You know, you simply cannot say enough about her individual performance so far, even if the all-around team effort has been lacking. Now here's Gray. Six points for her. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Well, sometimes Gray makes it look so easy. Seems like she can fit the basket at will. Fantastic handles. Outside of Gumawale. The three-pointer is on target. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. And when you think of Arike Agungawale, her scoring is the thing that comes to mind immediately. This is her role, and she does it well. She's a volume shooter who can score from all three levels. And I appreciate how fearless she is. Now here's Sabal. 19 points in the game. Now here's Agungawale. She's covered by Clark, and she was camped there in the lane, and she gets a three-second call. Boneheaded play, guys. Plain and simple. And mistakes like that are going to make it very hard for them to get out of this hole. And that's part of the reason why they're in this hole. The ace is leading. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Here's the three. Buries it from three-point range. Well, you talk about the most accurate shooters in the game, Clark might just be it. So you cannot let her get comfortable off of a pass. Pass to Sabali. McCowan. Some solid defense from Candace Parker. Gray outside. From six feet. Off the left rim and out. And it's the wings ball. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Young with the steal. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Pass to Gray. Young. Down to five on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. And the aces, another three. three a polished and reliable perimeter shooter. Gray won't think twice about shooting from outside. And the wings call time here. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster.
It's Burton. Gray defending. It's Lou Lopez and a shawl on the wing. Here's Savali. Here's McCowan. Misses the layup. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle today. And control of the boards has given them control of this game. Now here's Gray. Five on the clock. Wilson right side. Dallas with the rebound. You know, it might be a poor shooting performance for her, but luckily her teammates have picked up the slack. Asto Gumbawale. Out to the wing. It's Burton. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Now here's Gray. Timeout called the Aces. Yeah, Coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. And, and kind of change that game plan as well. Aces with the ball. They've led by as many as 14 points. Good on the shot. With a solid frame and terrific body control, Ray is comfortable operating down low. And here's Burton. He has five. And it's Sabali missing. Yeah, she's still looking for her first triple of the second half. She had three at halftime. To the middle. Parker. Good. And it's Chelsea Gray who picks up the assist. Consistently Chelsea keeping Gray. her teammates involved and engaged. Gray's willingness to move the ball is contagious. From deep, Satu Savali. It's hauled in by Chelsea Gray. Uh, she's been struggling big time in this quarter, guys. She really has tightened up. I'm just not seeing any flow to her game right now. Now here's Gray. She's got 13. Shot clock at five. Here's Wilson. That's all good, and that's her fifth basket of the game. She's shooting five for 11 now. It's so hard to contain her. I mean, she just gets it done however she has to do it. Here's a Gumbawale. He's got 11. Sabali. In for another field goal. A sublime 9 for 14 on the night. Well, she's shot a very good percentage today, and her team has needed every last bit of it. Gray, left side. Wilson in the post. Sabali's there. And Wilson gets it to go. 
I mean, they're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Time called here, the wings decide to talk it over. is making a change here. Now Burton. He's got five. Pass to Lopez Senechal. And here's Burton. She's guarded by Plum. Burton gets the bucket. Solid find by Lopez Senechal. She's all for making her teammates better. Now here's Plum. Tight defense on her. Wilson with it. She's covered by Brown. Wilson can't hit. It's Lou Lopez Senechal on the wing. Gray defending. Pass to Burton. Left wing for three, and again, it's Dallas with a three. Three-pointers keep dropping. You sense the frustration mounting for these defenders, their coaches, their fans, everyone. Yeah, they just have not been able to take that shot away. Here's Parker. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Kelsey Plum. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they keep allowing easy looks inside. And for Candace Parker, winning a title in 2021 with her hometown sky, man, you know that was extra sweet. It, it was special. I mean, Parker signing as a free agent with the sky, taking a giant leap after spending her first 13 seasons with the Sparks. But Candace was rewarded with a parade in Chicago, her hometown. Plum gets the bucket. Three's going down quickly at both ends. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. It's Burton. Eight points for her. It's Lou Lopez and Shaw on the wing. Eight feet out. Six on the shot clock. Gray outside. Pass to Parker. Now here's Plum. And here's Wilson. Clark. Back to Plum. Watches it. It's hauled in by Cannon. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. It's Burton. She's guarded by Plum. Kicks it out to Saboli. Satu Sabali draws the double to the paint and stolen by Gray. And now the Aces on the break. Here's Clark. That's good. And it's Candace Parker with the assist. A respected distance shooter. Clark's impact to her team can be felt from all over the court. From deep, Satu Sabali. Oh, no. 
no good on the buzzer beater. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Aces ahead, up by 16. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter here on 2K Sports. point game outside Sims pass to Cannon and there's the call on Young that's her first foul and the Aces making a change here first team foul substitution for the Aces number 13 Kayla George now Gunwale Poked away. Six to shoot. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. It'll be Aces' ball. Substitution for the Aces. Number 10, Kelsey Plum. Here's Las Vegas. Pass to Williams. Here's Gray. Got a piece of it. Here's Sims. Good, and the assist goes to Agumawale. He's a very strong finisher on the fast break. And always in control, even at full speed like that. So impressive. Now here's Plum, guarded by Dangerfield. Crosses over. Pass to Gustafsson. An amazing finish with a hand right in her face. Kelsey. Sharp pass to set up the very high percentage shot in close. Danger field with it. Now Cannon. Lays it up and banks it in. And honestly, she's been a little passive today, but maybe that'll get her going. For them to be successful, she needs to be a little bit more selfish. Gray, that's good. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. You're right, three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Outside Agumawale. Dangerfield, she's guarded by Plum. Pass to Cannon. Back to Dangerfield. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Playing way bigger than her listed 5-5 height. Dangerfield playing the game with passion. Now here's Williams. They double-team Kelsey Plum. Gustafson. Back to Plum. Just five to shoot. Screen by Plum. Kelsey Gray for three. It's rebounded by Agumba Wale. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Now here is Sims. Here's Brown. Yes, great play by Odyssey Sims to set it up. Well, on the floor, Odyssey Sims has outstanding fundamentals. Love to see her find the wide open teammate there. Here's Young. Pass to Plum. Back to Young. Takes the three. And she's good on the three ball. Double teams, triple teams, zone defense, something. I mean, you, you got to figure out a way to shut her down. Outside Sims. Back to Dangerfield. To the inside. Now here's Young. She's guarded closely. Puts up a three. Another three for Las Vegas. 
since the start of the fourth, Brian, that three-point shot has really been there for them. Yeah, doing an excellent job, Tim, of finding the open teammate on the perimeter this quarter. The three-pointer is a major weapon for them right now. Now here's Dangerfield. Inside. Shot's good by Cannon. Not much resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive bait in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. In fact, I'll just say it, they are automatic. And it's the Wings ball. Trailing by 17. Enrique Agumawale drives in. Dangerfield, left side. Fires from deep. Gets it to go from downtown. Zero hesitation from Dangerfield playing off the ball. Confident in her shot. Outside Plum. Here's Gray. And it's good. Just Assisting on the play was Kelsey Plum. They've been able to depend on her offense all game, guys. She's just not wasting any chances, any shots she's had. And if they want to make things even easier on themselves here late in the ball game, I got an idea. Just keep getting her the basketball. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. That's the best way out of a double team, for the pass like that. Dallas time calls timeout. Time time you got to like what Kelsey Plum has Sorry. done in this game. She's torching them right now, and they're going to talk it over and try to figure out how to slow her roll. Side Savali. Pass to Burton. From deep. Las Vegas grabs the miss. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Oh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding, it sets a tone. Drains the three pointer. Three it's obvious points. that Plum has found her rhythm tonight. Nice to see her making a big impact on that end. It's Burton. Agumbawale from long range sinks the three-pointer. The rapid-fire three is coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Now here's Gray. Wilson, McCowan defending. And the basket by Parker. Strong awareness from Wilson. She knows that opponents lock in on her, so she's happy to dish and keep her teammates involved. Here's a Gunbawale. Pass to Burton. Lopez and a shawl outside. Five to shoot. Unable to get that one to go. Some solid defense from Jackie Young. 
Now here's Gray. Outside Plum. That three off the mark. I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Looked good here, too. I'm as shocked as you. Lopez sent a shawl outside. Outside, Sobley. And here's Burton. Kicks it out to Sobley. Lopez and Ashal. And again, it's Dallas with a three. Seneschal. Check out the confidence from Lopez Seneschal from downtown. That's a shot she'll take if she's left open. Pass to Plum. They double team Kelsey Plum. To the paint, Wilson. That's good. It's her seventh made basket and 14 tries. That's the type of lead pass we've really come to expect from her. And the wings call time here. A challenging stretch for Dallas here. Out of bounds, it'll be Ace's ball. Yeah, I mean, this has been a comedy of errors. And you can add another one to the list. And here are the Aces now. Now Plum. Rebound by the wing. Agunbawale with it. Pass to Sabali. Satu Sabali draws the double. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Just five on the clock. Agunda Wale from long range sinks the triple. Well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner. It's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Now here's Plum. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. So both teams making some changes here. Dallas now. 17 point game. Pass to Cannon. Sims. Up top, Dangerfield. Back to Sims. Four on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Dangerfield. Shoots over Plum. Dangerfield, that's good. So the moment Dangerfield gets going and gets some confidence, she's so tough to stop. I mean, Crystal has a great shot, handles, quicks, the whole package out of the guard position. 
Now here's Hartley. Outside Williams. Plum hits the three-point bomb. And that's got to be the nail in the coffin. I'd say so. They've done a great job of closing this one out, never backing off, even with the big lead. Here's Sims. Here's Dangerfield. Yes. Great play by Odyssey Sims to set it up. Well, their offense is kicked in the gear, but it's come just a little too late. I think it may be, but at least they're finally showing some signs of life offensively, but too bad it's past the point where it'll do them much good. Yeah, absolutely. Now here's Plum. Back to Hartley. Let's it go from deep. And it's Dangerfield with the rebound. Aces winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them and an enemy territory, no less. It was enemy territory, but with the way that they controlled the game, they took the crowd completely out of it. That's how to get it done on the road. And that'll wrap it up.